Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another What A Week, talking all the latest and greatest toy and pop culture news for the week of March 19th. And just before we get things started off, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you are. Hit that subscribe button, daily news updates, looks at new toys, old toys, everything and anything, I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So to kick it off, NECA Toys' new Toonie Terror's Jaws set went up for pre-order. And just an FYI, when applicable during my What A Week segments, I will have links in the description below if you want to go ahead and pre-order anything. They may not always be available, but just as a heads up and thank you in advance, your clicking of my links do help my channel to grow. So much appreciated. The new Jaws set is very cool, very evocative of that toony nature that they're going for. So if you'd like it, make sure to grab it. Shout out and a thank you to Super Impulse. They sent over their world's smallest micro action figures. I love these things. They are fantastic. Bob Ross and Richard Simmons. Tiny little toy action figures for your action figures they do make for some fantastic photography i highly recommend them or just some fun photos you know what i mean not going too crazy again if you'd like them they are up on amazon for pre-order wandered into a walmart last weekend and in the more entertainment section where all the NECA toys migo stuff is they had these handmade by robots collectible vinyl figures now i love me some ghostbusters it's not exactly my thing. I did not pick them up. However, there are plenty of Ghostbuster fans out there that have different tastes, so you can get a toasted Stay Puffed or a Glow in the Dark Slimer. So again, if you like them, yeah, they're in the Walmart section. Now, shout out to Harse's Sculpture for the teas. Check him out on Instagram. This is their upcoming 45 centimeters tall. That's roughly about 18 inches, I believe. Godzilla, they teased him, so they'll be having a really cool figure coming up. Mondo does great stuff, and I'll be talking about them. Coming up again in this video, rest assured, shout out to Paradise Loot. They went to their California Target store and came across the newest wave of Transformers Kingdom figures, Huffer, Ractonite, and Air Razor. I myself found Huffer. So that was pretty cool. All the other ones were gone, unfortunately. Well, I'm only after Rack tonight. Beast Wars is not really my thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, if you need them, it's the same DPCI as normal. It's not going to help you find them. They're going to be listed with all the other ones that are still warm in the shelves. But just keep your eyes open. Now, this is quite the McFarlane week again. Every six months, we seem to get one McFarlane week since they took over the DC multiverse. The new unmasked Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman went up on Target, as did the Batman Beyond normal face, I just say classic Batman Beyond figure. Both have been in and out, especially Batman Beyond now, but the links are to below if you Need them. Shout out to Action Figure Attack. He's the guy in charge for all the WWE Mattel figures. So definitely check him out up on the WWE website. They released some new photos of some action figures for the Mattel various wrestling figures. So the Elite Collection and then also, I guess you'd say the more standard type figures. Lots of figures. So definitely check out my Instagram four more and then they also have the unleash the beast beast mode un you know uncage me all that kind of stuff little mini pvc figures that have little attachments to make them look like they're glowing and whatnot and then the reckon kick out ring a lot of stuff going on it, when i talk about wrestling fit a lot of people would ask me hey can you cover wrestling stuff a lot more and i said sure as long as you don't have follow-up questions because i've noticed precisely zero about wrestling figures but i will continue to cover it post links just so everyone can grab them. You know, nobody's got to be left out. I will do my best. I promise you that. Shout out to Miko Corp. They sent a box over and there was an Ultra 7 Ultraman inside. So that was cool. Thank you for that. This guy is actually a lot of fun. Now, Miko goes either way for me sometimes. I really like their horror stuff. A lot of people say, oh, they're dolls and whatnot. Yeah, well, the same can be said about Migos. Well, the same can be said about Mezcos, just FYI. I don't know what clarifies dolls anymore, usually cloth goods. So, yeah, you know, give and take. But uh, if you're a fan of Mego, who cares? Whatever. It's fun. 
this is the Ultra 7 figure. Go watch this on YouTube or something. It's <laughs> it's wild. It's like an old-fashioned monster mix-up show. It's amazing. Definitely go and check it out. Moving on, shout out to Jeremy Conrad 440 for the find at his local Ohio Walmart. He came across the newest Mattel Masters of the WWE Universe figures at Walmart, the, you know, their exclusive. He found the Stephanie McMahon figures. I think she kind of looks like the Dolph Lundgren, Courtney Cox, Evil Lynn. You know what I mean? So if you need them, they are loosely starting to hit. But uh, look for them in the next couple weeks. I think they'll really start to hit more heavily. We'll just say they in all honesty, they've been kind of all over the place with distribution on those. But more often than not, they hit loosely and then they just sit on the shelves in in some places. I know it's not everywhere, but uh, in some places, I've definitely seen that. Shout out to Collect Jurassic. This was one of my favorite reveals, more so for the fact of they actually did it. Mattel, you did it. They're releasing the Amber Collection 6-inch Mr. Arnold. That's Samuel L. Jackson's character from Jurassic Park. Comes with the most old-fashioned computer you could possibly imagine that's amazing and his own severed arm right the arm that hits ellie sattler she's like oh mr arnold and then it's the arm doesn't make a whole lot of sense of why that arm was up there or where it was exactly but yeah he got raptured and uh, it's <laughs> it's coming and the pre-orders went up for target as well so again there'll be links below had some fun with the bob ross super impulse little mini figure He's hanging out. He painted on Skeletor's van, the new Hot Wheels van, and apparently Skeletor lives in a van down by the river. <laughs> Over on my Retro Shiz account, we took a look at the 2006 McFarlane Toys Omega Spawn. This came about because I was looking at the new Marvel Legends X-Men Omega Sentinel, and it just reminded me of Omega Spawn. So, yeah, definitely go and check that out. It's in the video in my YouTube right now. Shout out to Patrick N on Facebook. Earlier in the week in Tracy, California, they came across the new, this is unannounced, you know, basically third wave of Netflix War for Cybertron Transformers. It's largely all repaints. One of them is called the DCS Army Drone. You have a repainted Cheetor, Sparkless Bot, and deep cover that's a already like a repackaged one as well i believe that was a fan channel exclusive earlier but um i did see elements of cheetor leftover so i must have just missed them at my walmart but again the netflix stuff much like the wwe it's really give and take at walmart sometimes so be on the lookout for those if you are interested now <laughs> we'll go into walmart a little bit so they had their Monday fan events, collector event, whatever they were pushing it as. Anyways, in trying to look up Fearsome Flush, I came across an awesome Amazon t-shirt for Fearsome Flush. So if you want that, I'll have to just link in the description below. I thought that was pretty cool. And then Playmates Toys, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to really say except for I hope that they reorganize and stop doing so many repaints, re-releases, repaints, re -re you know what I mean? So for free comic book day 2021, that's in August, limited, it's actually August 14th, limited to 3,600 pieces. They're going to take their Elite Series and repaint them. You know, it, and being all honesty, they don't hold a candle to what NECA did. NECA paved the way for this. It is a good box set for those that just you know, hey, we're casual collectors. So think of it that way, you know, not always does it have to be perfection when you have perfection already with NECA. This could be for other collectors that don't look at it as intensively as some of us do. So if you want it, free comic book day, I think it's like 120 bucks. So yeah, you can be on the lookout for that. Playmates, I just wish, I hope that you restructure TMNT and it comes out classic and everything. I Something needs to happen. We'll just say that. Anyways, Walmart. So they did their collector event Monday morning. Supposed to go up. Little countdown. Gets, gets to zero. So I'm thinking, okay, it's going to unlock and, you know, all the links become available and it's easy peasy. No. Why would that be a thing? Anyways, it hits zero and then basically did the equivalent of like 
counting backwards again into neg- negative numbers. You know what I mean? So it didn't, I think it went negative TTT at one point. So yeah, it was kind of a messy rigmarole. I believe most of the things are still available. Star Wars Vintage, Beast Wars, the Ghostbusters, Kenner Classics. They did have a new War for Cybertron spoiler pack. I won't spoil anything for anyone, but there's something in it that is of interest to me, although it's a character I have several of, okay? So you can, I won't do it here because I know a lot of people, you know, you collect Transformers, you don't, I don't do spoilers, but if you go on the internet, uh, just look this up and yeah, you should be able to see it, no problem. But a lot of people did want the Ecto-1, bug Eye Ghost, all that kind of stuff. I did not pre-order anything. I will wait until I find them. Be- <laughs> I know how this is gonna go. Ever since, because of the event, how it went, you know you're going to find these things in stores now. So I was really hoping. I made a video and everything. I was like, oh, come on, Walmart. You learn from your mistakes. No. <laughs> hey, maybe next time, right? And then calling all plunder leaguers, the plunderlings figures went up on Entertainment Earth. You can grab a bunch of them. Some, I believe, are still available. Most went real quick. These are selling like hotcakes. They're very cool figures. They're not exactly my cup of tea. But I do have one, and they're cool. I mean, for what they are, they're multi-articulated, little tiny figures, a lot of customizable options and such to them. So they are very cool, but I think it pertains to a very specific collector. That's just not me. But hey, you might want to check it out because it might be you. I took a look at the old, uh, I shouldn't say old, a couple years ago, Mattel Batman Beyond figure, the new McFarlane Batman Beyond figures, should be hitting really quick here. Coming up, April's almost upon us. So I would say real, real quick. But um, that's uh, there are problems with this figure, but largely, that's a sweet Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond, like classic cartoon, just done in the uh, DCUC star type DC multiverse classics way. Then shout out to Beast Kingdom. They released photos for their upcoming Darkwing Duck figure. He's just under like six inches, multiple hands. You can get dangerous with all his, you know, gun attachments and everything else. You can swap out like the face. I think the beak and things kind of swap out, switch out. So I don't have anything from Beast Kingdom, but uh, this I might get. I'm not, no joke. I'm Darkwing Duck fan. I think that looks pretty cool. It might be interesting to have. I do have what? The old... Playmates, Darkwing Duck, and I got the Funko one. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If I come across it, yeah, I think I'll definitely get it. Then on Entertainment Earth and Amazon, I will tell you this. If the links are still available, Amazon had the cheaper price. So of course, go with them. If you still want them, they're sold out. You might have to bite the bullet and go to Entertainment Earth. They're a little bit more expensive. But essentially, it's a Funko minifigure build Seinfeld Jerry's apartment kind of thing there's multiple characters it's pretty cool I gotta give it to him on that that you know if you're a big fan of I'm a big fan of Seinfeld now if they made Seinfeld figures well different story but for those of you who are like Funko maniacs and all that kind of stuff yeah this might be right up your alley shout out to collect Di- I always say that Diamond Select, their username on uh, Instagram is Collect DST, but Diamond Select, thank you. They sent over their spectacular Spider Man figure. This is a great figure. I've never had this one. He may not have like the super, super articulation that I think people, you know, anticipate now with a Spider Man figure. Marvel Legends, of course, very, very articulated. This one, though, has the correct pins. It's got sculpted webbing. It has the black webbing, multiple hands, Peter Parker head, the camera, and a little mask that he can hold. So, you know, I recommend in the sense of, you know, articulation aside, which it still articulates amazingly, I don't, it's a great action figure. I'll just tell you that all day. Shout out to NECA Toys for the photos they revealed. Now we have seen this before at Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, also Toy Fair, but now we get the official product reveal. Troubles Afoot, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the ultimate foot soldier, which is very cool. Now I'm all about these Ninja Turtles from NECA this year. Basically you get to make the Alpha One That's the character from a particular episode. You get a bunch of different weapons and accessories and everything else. 
that you would want for this type of character. You can army build the heck out of it if you want, but look for him coming soon. They don't have exact dates, probably late spring, I would say, but we don't have an official confirmation on that just yet. Snyder Cut fans, everybody was excited. The new Justice League redo, recut movie from J uh, Zack Snyder hit, and people can go and gaga for it. I have not seen it yet myself. It's four hours long, maybe this weekend if we have time. But McFarlane Toys, yeah, we all knew these were coming. It wasn't a secret. But Todd, in typical fashion, went on the Instawebs and showed him off. I love when he does these videos. I think he should do all the reveals like that because it's just like, look at this, and you know, he puts them together, and all oh, this is gonna be cool. And just yeah, I get a hoot out of it. He does it well. It's freaking awesome. So again, if you're interested in these, I'll have the links in the description below. Now, keep in mind, I'll tell you this: the armored dark side is not a thing right now. Wait for the official confirmation from McFarlane Toys. There are three exclusives. You got the red and blue Superman that's at Target. You got the Cyborg, which is at Walmart. And you have a Batman figure, which is upcoming. More details, hopefully, by Monday. So we'll know more in and around then. NECA Toys again with Ninja Turtle stuff. Quarter scale Donatello went up for pre-order. He's going to go great. If you got the quarter scale Raphael, that's shipping now. Some people have gotten them already. He did sell out rather quick in some outlets, so if you want him, if it's something you need, get on it. Get it for a good retail price if it's your thing. Again, in kind of talking like this was a McFarlane week, no doubt the Shriek Target exclusive Build-A-Figure Wave. Now, he's the one that comes with the Joker Bot accessory went up for pre-order. At the same time, the standard Shriek figure went up, so... One's 25 with the Build-A-Figure parts, one is 20. That is like the standard Shriek, he'll be elsewhere. The Target exclusive one is the Target exclusive Joker Bot Wave. They'll only be at Target, those will be at the $25 mark. Shriek and the other Batman Beyond with the, uh, you know, the f more, he doesn't have facial features, will be other stores as well. So they're kind of mixing them up, get one way, get the other. Yeah, it's a little confusing, but... I'll, I'll keep you good. <laughs> Again, Diamond Select, they sent over their new Crow action figure based off the movie, in, which is based off the comic book. I do have a look up at the figure now, and all I'll tell you is, if you're a fan of the Crow, you will not be disappointed by this figure. I really like it. It's something different, and it's so refreshing to just check that out. Got to watch the movie again. Also, I do like Crow City of Angels. Don't haul it against me. The other ones, no, I won't defend that. <laughs> Furlong, what are you doing? Come on, Kirsten Dunst. The, we had a Wayne Knight, was it Wayne Knight Wednesday? Again, Collect Jurassic and Jurassic Outpost posted the Dennis Nedry getaway pack, which is part of the Target exclusive line Legacy Collection. And a lot of Jurassic Park people were pointing out that there's certain elements missing from the Jeep from the press photos so they kind of cut corners with like some of the paints i'm glad they pointed that out because i would have missed that that's not my area of expertise i look at that and i go oh yeah it's the guy that got eaten by the dilophosaurus and there's his jeep so if you want it it's up for pre-order on target this is actually pretty cool a lot of people have been wanting this for a long time neck revealed that they are and have in production New The Thing action figures. It looks about two or three of them in progression so far. Kurt Russell's birthday, you know, so they released the figures. So that, um, I'm looking forward to that, especially with what they could do with the actual thing and attachments and all that stuff as well. Like I said, the red and blue exclusive to Target for the McFarlane Toys Superman Snyder Cut movie. That's up for pre-order if you want it. And of course, shout out to Collection Obsession Official and the Loyal Subjects over on my Instagram. I'm having a giveaway. You can win the new Loyal Subjects Aliens Easter Egg Pack. It's a Walmart exclusive. It's part of like their spring collection. Perfect gift for the nerd in your life that loves aliens for Easter. Little tiny little eggs are filled with little alien monster stuff. Go check out my video. You can make a decision. And then if you like, yeah. Look for them in the store or enter my contest on Instagram and win one for yourself. Tend to give away and the contest ends this coming 
Monday. Also up for pre-order now. I'll have a link below. You can get on Entertainment Earth with some free shipping to it. The G.I. Joe Destro figure 112 collection. He looks good. Not my cup of tea. I don't really collect uh, G.I. Joe, but um, a lot of people are very excited for this figure. So if you need them, go and pre-order them. And again, thank you to Diamond Select. The final figure that we'll look at from them is the new Jack Sparrow figure. So took a couple photos with him. I'll have the video up shortly. We'll take a look at that figure more in depth. And shout out to the Toy Spot 84 for the find. Now they came across this. This is really unannounced and everything else. The Camp Cretaceous Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can go over to Collect Jurassic on Instagram and look at more videos for this guy. But it's actually a really cool sort of design where you kind of see the, the, the marks of the dino and when you twist a certain thing, you kind of see like the tearing and the scratching of him. If you want them, they're starting to hit Walmarts now. I can't say that it's a Walmart exclusive just yet. It could be, but as of right now, we'll just say Walmart is the place to find this guy this weekend if you are looking. Shout out to Hasbro and Litsky PR. They sent over photos for their new Expanded Universe Star Wars The Black Series four-figure set. Initial, we'll say. I'm sure there will be more. You have Jackson the Rabbit, <laughs> Luke Skywalker, and his Yasalamiri from that one. Ah, now it's going to elude me. It's from a specific. All these are from like literature novels and things, expanded universe for Star Wars. So you can get Luke. It has to do with the Force and all that kind of stuff, these things. Anyways. I'm not the most adversed in the more expanded universe. I do know all about Dash Rendar and Shadows of the Empire, though. We could talk about that. Darth Maul, Sith Apprentice, cool. And then they got this wrong. This was pointed out to me. See, this is one of those things where I go, hey, okay, Carnor Jax doesn't really look like Carnor Jax. It's actually a different character altogether. So they actually got the name wrong. This is actually Kier Kanos. They changed it later in the pre-orders that started today. So they did catch their mistake. Uh, they got a box to fix, <laughs> methinks. But this is Kier Kanos, not Carnor Jax. But again, all of these are up for pre-order now. I'll have the links in the description below. Along with pre-orders up on Amazon for the Marvel 375 vintage retro style Kenner figures. You can get Human Torch, Spider-Man, Carol Danvers. The rest may go up later, but those are the three that they had available now. And again, talking about the Justice League McFarlane figures, the Walmart exclusive Cyborg figure went up. Blurry photos and all. A lot of people are saying, wait, is this not loading correctly? No, they just put up really blurry photos. It differentiates from the standard type to Cyborg. He has the more Cyborg like helmet thing on from the movie. So if you want it, Walmart's got it. I have a look now up on my YouTube. We're talking about the brand new Mondo Toys 12-inch Pulgasori Kaiju Monster. It's a North Korea Godzilla, basically. It's amazing. Go and check out my video. If you're a big fan of, like, 12-inch soft vinyl, this might be the figure for you. And again, I do have a look. I had a look at this figure last week. They didn't really put pre-orders up much until today. Jon Stewart, Bizarro, and the Death and the Family Nightwing are up for pre-order now on Target. So if you want those, you can go ahead and grab them. Shout out to Spiro Toys. They are great people. Def, please go and check out their Kickstarter. It launched this morning. They are doing a six inch line of their Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. So 112 scale primal series. They're already on their way. They've raised a ton of money. It's the first, it's only the first couple hours. I'll have the link in the description below. Please go and check them out. They're doing some great stuff. And there's a ton of figures that they are doing. So please go check them out. And then also NECA Toys released some more images of their upcoming Friday the 13th Jason figure. This guy is just a little bit behind. He's on his way. But the photos are definitely doing it justice. And it looks amazing. So very cool to see. Again, McFarlane Toys. It's all McFarlane Toys this week. It seems like... The new Target exclusive. This will hit pre-order in and around the first week of April. This is the Nabu slash Dr. Fate helmeted last night on Earth Wonder Woman. This was teased. Now they have it. The helmet, 
is most I mean, as far as what is shown, not removable. So you can get both figures and do it that way if you'd like. It comes with the sword and stand. It's an alternate figure. If you want her, go again and pre-order. And thank you to McFarland Toys for the official look right there on my Instagram. Check that out, right? Up on Amazon, the Noob Cybot and then the Cabal Mortal Kombat 11 figures went up for pre-order as well. They look great. If you're a big fan of Mortal Kombat, might be two new characters for you. And then, yeah, Star Wars Black Series, Jackson, Luke Skywalker, Kyrkanos, Sith Apprentice, Darth Maul, all up for pre-order, along with Diamond Select's new Iron Giant battle mode action figure. 8.5 inches, light-up eyes, alternate hands, non-dented head, all that good stuff to really nail home that you watched the Iron Giant. So... A lot of pre-orders at the tail end of this week. A lot of good stuff coming. Anything that you have to have, anything you pre-ordered, anything that's kind of like, no, I'm not excited for this. Not no way, not no how. Comment below, let me know, and let's talk everything toys of pop culture. What a week, right? I love saying that. Wow. Wow? I don't know. W-A-W. Whatever. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when it comes to toys... And pop culture news, make sure you hit that subscribe button because Toy Shiz is going to be there for you. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.